Hello, Perrier. How are you today? Hello, hello. Okay, well, how are you today? I hope you are happy and fine. Well, so today uh, we say bye-bye, unit five. Hello, unit six, okay? So today is Monday, the 8th, the 8th of June. It's uh, sunny and hot. And uh, we are going to work on vocabulary for unit six. Yes, celebrations and stages in life. Uh, grammar to infinitive, adjective plus to infinitive, future. Yes, will go into present continuous as future. And remember, you must study the uses. Yes, okay. Uh, we are going to work on pages 67, six, uh, 69, 70, 71, 72 and 73. And as homework... Yes, you are going to do pages 44, 45, yes, from the activity book, of course, from the activity book, okay? Pages 44, 45, 46, 47, and 40, uh, 44, 45, 46, 47 from activity book. Only the exercise that are between brackets, okay? Good. So, let's go, yes, I want you to look at the pictures now, yes, okay? And we're going to uh, put the date in all the pages, 69, 60, uh, 70, 71, 72, and 73. And I want you to highlight the keywords, the child, teenager, young adult, adult, middle-aged, elderly, okay? So I want you to highlight this and then highlight all the words, get a pension, get your driving license, go to college or university, get married, start a family, start your career, retire from work and buy your first home, okay? So I want you to highlight all this, yes, okay? Uh, we're going to look at the photo there, yes, there, 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 in your notebook. And I want you to tell me, yes, what you think about this picture. The photo shows three generations of people, which words in the box describe the first stage in life, yes? You have the three generations there. Women chat on the station platform in uh, Switzerland, okay? Okay, in Winters Tour, Winters Tour, yes? Okay, Winters Tour, yes, in Switzerland, yes, okay? So I want you to see this picture, yes? Okay, what do you think about this picture? Yes, okay. Which words from there do you think um, we have? Yes, from left to right, yes. We have elderly, yes. Then you have uh, middle-aged and a young adult, yes. Or teenage, uh, yes, uh, of under 20, yes, okay. Right? Is it clear? Yes, from left to right, okay? From left to right, you have elderly, middle-aged, yes, and a young adult, yes, okay? Uh, or teenager of under 20, yes, okay? Is it clear? So I prepare a picture for you. Yes, I'm going to project the picture. Then we're going to listen, to go to the listening. Yes, okay. Good, good, good. Wait a minute. Wait. Right. There we are. That's great. Track 44. Okay, 
So I want you to have a look at the picture first. Yes, okay. Okay, and uh, revise the stages, yes, of life. Yes, okay. That is a good picture I found for you. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Be patient. Yes, okay. There we are. All right. And that's it. Okay, so the first one. Yes, yeah, you are a baby, then you are a toddler, you start to work, then you become a child, yes, you go to the kindergarten, yes, okay, you go to school, the primary school, then you become a teenager, yes, you start uh, high school, then you become a young adult, you go to university, and then you become a middle age, yes, then a retired person and then an elderly yes and this is a very very nice picture yes okay so at which of this period yes uh, you get your driving license for example think about it yes okay and then when you go to college when you go to university yes okay uh, in what stages think about it yes you get married Yes, in which of these stages do you learn to ride a bike? Yes, when you, you are a child. Yes, when you leave home, when you are a young adult. Yes, when you go to university, when you start a career. Yes, think about these stages and when you do the things in exercise three. When you retire from work. Yes, okay. When you buy your first house. Okay. Uh, when you fall in love for the first time, yes, okay, so these are uh, the stages, yes, okay, of life, yes, okay, and we have already talked about the activities you do, yes, and in what ages, for example, activities I have named before, yes, that are an exercise three, okay, well, so we are going to uh, listen to uh, someone talking about the photo. Why does the speaker like the photo? And he will say why he or she like, likes the photo, yes? And then we are going to continue with the description of pictures and we are going to go to the book and we are going to go to different places, okay? Yes, there we are. Unit 6 opener. These three people are waiting in a train station in Winterthur in Switzerland. Winterthur. I like the picture because it shows three people at different stages in their life, communicating in different ways. The elderly lady and the middle-aged lady are chatting, and the young adult woman, maybe she's 18 or 19, is probably texting her friends or using social media. Okay, so you have seen this picture, yes, and you know the elderly woman and the middle-aged woman, they are chatting, yeah, they are having a conversation, but on the other side we have uh, the, the woman, the teenager maybe, yes, okay, and she's texting, yes, okay, um, she's a young adult, yes, can be too, yes, and she's texting, you're texting, you know, uh, the different means of communication, yes, in the different stages, yes, okay, so how do you prefer to communicate, yes, how do you prefer to communicate, you prefer to, you prefer to communicate, do you prefer to communicate talking, yes, texting, yes, using social media, yes, I prefer Yes, I prefer, I am a middle-aged woman, yes, so I prefer uh, having a conversation, yes, okay, but not talking on the phone or texting, yes, I like com uh, having a conversation, talking face-to-face, -face, yes, but um, on the contrary, maybe uh, that you are uh, an adolescent, you uh, might prefer, yes, uh, talking through text, yes, through using 
social media, yes? Okay, texting a friend, yes? But it's depending on the age, depending uh, on many different things, yes? And now, well, you know, everybody communicates using uh, social media because we have to stay at home, yes? So it's very interesting, yes, and useful, yes? Okay, good. Uh, well, so let's go to, um, you have to answer this question. At what age do people in your country do these things? Do you think uh, there is a correct time in your life to do each one? So when, when do you think is the right time to get married? When is the right time to buy a house? When do you consider is the right time to, um, to fall in love? Yes, so I want you to answer this because this is a personal, yes, okay. Uh, in the UK, you get a pension at 16 years old, 65 years old, more or less. Get your driving license, yes, at 17. Go to college or university at 18. You get married by law, yes, at 16, you can get married. Yeah, on overage between 25 to 29. Yes, okay, learn to ride a bike, yes, uh, between three or eight, yes, okay, um, then you leave home, many leave home at 18, yes, but 20% or 20, of 20 to 34 years old, continue to live with their parents, oh my God, yes, and here in Formosa, well, you know, people are 40, 45, 46, and they continue living with their family, with their parents, why do you think is that? Because we don't have the same possibility, because we don't have enough money to move. People don't have enough money to move, to rent an, an apartment, because that is very expensive. What do you think? Uh, which, which do you think would be the right time for you to move home, yes? Are there advantages, yes, of living with your parents? Are there this, or are more disadvantages of being 45, 46, 40, and continue living with your parents, okay? So I want you to think about that, yes? Okay, Some yes, per, your mother, uh, yes, or your father can make the shopping, yes, can your, your mother can continue cooking for you, that is an advantage. But then, uh, what about uh, your uh, comfortability, yes? Okay, your moments, moments that you need to be alone, moment, moments that you need to have friends at home, um, yes, to turn, uh, you know, uh, on your radio and listen to music um, loudly. Yes, do you think it could be an advantage to live with your parents that are old? Yes, okay. Okay, so I want you to think about disadvantages and advantages, okay? Um, you know, privacy. Yes, okay, think about privacy when you are 40, between 40 and 45, yes, bring a, bring a girl or bring a boyfriend or a, uh, a girlfriend at home and your parents are there, yes, okay, so what, what could happen? Do you think it is an advantage? Yes, so in the UK, uh, to 34 years old, continue to live with their parents, start a family, the average age is 30 and rising, yes, okay. Uh, what amazed me when I lived in Mallorca was that um, I was uh, I was 30 when I had my first uh, baby, yes, and uh, there were I was the youngest, yes, and there were women that were 40, 41, or 32, and there were uh, it was the first baby they were uh, having. Yes, so I was amazed and I said, okay, they are very old for having the, the, the first baby, but it wasn't very old, yes, because you know, they finished their career, then they continue uh, studying for grados and everything, yes, okay, they graduate again, yes, so um, they uh, are very interested in their career, yes, okay, so they finish studying, yes, okay, they continue studying, and then, yes, it's the time uh, to, okay, have a couple, I don't know if we're getting married, but have a couple, then having a baby, and they find their, themselves at the age of 40, 42 years old, okay? I say, okay, oh my God, is that is the second baby you're having? No, it's my first baby. 
I'm, just go, I'm going to have only one, no more babies, yes? So it's a choice, yes, it's a choice, okay? Good. Uh, okay, what well, start your career? Okay, answer here. Many start at 22 when they leave university, retire from work, and average people in the UK retire at 63. They retire at 63. But your first home, a report by a bank suggested 30 as an average age, yes, but increasingly hard, uh, it is harder to buy a first home in the UK. Yes, so it is very hard, yes. More or less, they buy their, their first house at the age of 30, but nowadays it is becoming uh, more uh, expensive, yes, to buy a house in the UK and to, um, um, yes, to afford yes for the mortgage and everything yes okay so it's becoming more it's becoming more difficult okay good so i want you to go um uh, very quickly yes to we have already checked about this we, we go to 70 and 71 yes okay i want you to uh do highlight this one from page 70 one two three four five six highlight the chart two plus infinitive yes seven then from page 71, we're going to do uh, nine exercises, nine and 11. Yes, okay, and I want, you, I want you to highlight the speaking part, yes, the speaking part, highlight it. Yes, because it's going to be useful for the three minutes uh, video and for the orals, yes, for the final exam, okay? So I want you to highlight this and put talking, yes? Good, so, um, wait a minute. I want you to uh, okay well I want you to look at the picture I'm going to project now but first of all it says in some countries it is rude to ask some questions yes for example this is very it is said that this is very it is a very this is a very rude question to ask a woman how old are you yes when you are when you are a middle-aged woman yes okay because some um some women don't want to reveal yes how old they are yes so it is considered to ask uh, to uh, uh, it is a very rude question about what are we going to eat yes it is another Good question, yes, okay, good. Um, well, so it says in your country, what does it depend on, yes, okay, so we use these phrases in B, yes, to talk about general age, he's, he's middle, in mid-twenties, okay, so you have to add the ages, match the ages in A with the phrases in B, which words on page 69 also describe uh, ages, all right? Yes, so you have to do this. And uh, what age do you think they are, these people on the photo? Okay, so we are going to do, yes, remember to do the activities, read the text, changing your life. Yes, uh, pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers. Okay, good. Um, well, so for example, if you ask a young adolescent, if, if you ask a young person, an adolescent, how old are you? It couldn't be rude, yes, depending on the age and if they are old people too, okay? Well, um, good, so let's go to one for early teens, a teenager, two, uh, then you have 14, sorry, 14, 25, 39, 53, blah, 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 14, early teens, a teenager. 25, mid 20s, young adult or adult? 39, late 30s, adult? Yes, 53, 50s? Yes, middle age? Yes, and 83, early 80s? Yes, okay, so you have early teens, 25, mid 20s? Yes, young adult or adult? 39, late 30s? Yes, late 30s, an adult? 53, 50s? He's in his 50s, yes? Anda por los 50, 50, 40, yes? Okay? Um, 83, early uh, early 80s, okay? Early, uh, early, yes? Okay? Good. So let's go to exercise three, okay? 
Well, that depends on you. Yes, okay. Um, Queen Elizabeth, for example, is in her early 90s. Donald Trump, yes, the president of the USA, is in the early 70s. George Clooney, the actor, is in his mid 50s. Justin Timberlake is in the late in his late 30s. Yes, okay. Uh, Jennifer Lawrence, the actor, is mid to late 20s, and Taylor Swift, Swift is in the late in her late 20s. Okay, okay. Is it clear? Yes. Okay. Good. I am in my 40s. Yes, I'm a middle aged woman. Okay. Good. Uh, exercise, um, let's go here, yes, good, look at the picture, that is a very nice picture, have you ever, have you ever played The Sims, yes or no, I really love this game, yes, I really love this game, yes, so you have a, a baby, then you have a teenager, yes, okay, you have all the stages there, yes, okay, and you know, this game was very interest, interesting because you could do many things, yes? I, I would like to play it again, yes, okay? Um, yes, so you have all the stages in life there, yes, okay? You have a child, yes, a teenager, a baby, yes, you have a young adult, yes, okay? Um, then you have an adult, then you have a middle age, Yes, and then you have the last one. Yes, okay, there's another elderly woman. Yes, okay. Maybe she's in her 40s, maybe, because nowadays, you know, women uh, decide to get pregnant not very uh, young. Yes, more if you start it, if you continue, if you follow a career. Yes, okay. Yes, and you decide sometimes to have only one baby. All right, is it clear? So that was a very good uh, picture to describe the stages in life, yes, and the things you do, yes, the things you do in each stage, yes, okay, good, yes, okay, you decide to become, you get pregnant, you decide to become a mother, yes, you are retired, elderly, yes, okay, and you know, oh, she's about to die, yes, and maybe somebody in the family died, Yes, okay, you finish university, yes, okay, uh, you decide to have a couple, to move to, a, to an apartment, yes, okay, you are high school, yes, finishing uh, college, maybe, well, here, when you are a child, yes, okay, you start, um, you learn to drive a bike, here, you get your, uh, your license, driving license, okay, right? Good. So this that was very interesting. Yes, a very interesting picture to talk about. So I want you to think about all the things we have already talked at home. Yes, it's clear. Good. So let's go to page uh, seventy. All right. Yes, the reading. Yes. Good. Exercise four. They were probably middle aged because they had successful career. Yes, they left. Uh, because they wanted to be free to do things they wanted. So when do you think is the right time to say, I will be free, this is the time I want to, I have always loved, uh, wanted to do this, this thing, so now is the time. When? Before getting married? Before having a baby? After finishing university? So when is the right time? Yes, okay, I want you to... Think about it, yes, okay? Um, think about your answers, okay? Number five, okay? Uh, no, number one, no. Yes, okay, number two, uh, they, they always intended to do something fun and exciting at the weekend, but in the end, there was never time, yes? That is sometimes, that sometimes happens because you have responsibilities, yes? And you don't have time for, do, for doing the things you like. Yes, so I want you to think about this. Consider when is the time, the right time to do the things you like. I think your age is the, the perfect age. But if you ask me, the perfect age, yes, was when I was, at, when I started, when I was between 18 and 
30, yes, my 20s, yes, because I got my own money, yes, I could work, yes, uh, I could teach, yes, so I did the thing I like, I had, I started having responsibilities from very young, when I was from, uh, when I was very, um, when I was, when I was very young, yes, so uh, responsibilities weren't hard for me, because I got my money, I could travel with my own money, I didn't have to ask my parents, yes, okay, so, sometimes, uh, well, depending, you have to choose which is the right age, well, you are very young, yes, but I can choose, then, uh, the other time was when I got my first baby, yes, okay, and the previous when I got married and I could do many things with my couple, yes, we didn't have the babies, yes, okay, my daughters, but that was a very, I have many periods in life that I could choose, they were the best. And I have more, yes, that are going to come in the future. So hopefully we will have more beautiful moments and the best moments in life. And you too. Yes, okay. Good. Number five, okay. Number uh, five, exercise two. They wanted to stop working and go to traveling. Yes, okay. I'm... Um, would you like to go on a tour around the world? Yes? Do you think it would be nice? When it could be the right time? Yes? To go around the world, take a year off. Yes? Okay? But you know, you have to earn a lot of money because you are not going to work. Yes? And you need money to go around the world. Yes? Would you like to do it alone? With a friend? With your best friend? With friends or with your couple? Yes? I want you to think about that. There are two... Um, these are very, going with your couple and going with your friends could be a very nice idea. You can do both, yes, okay? Uh, because uh, sharing moments with friends is a very, very nice activity, yes, okay? Um, they bought a camper van to travel from, bottom, from the bottom of South America to Brazil for Africa. They hoped to get to Africa on a container ship. Number five, colleagues at work found it difficult to understand their decision because you have to leave work, it's a year off, yes, okay, you have to, um, yes, okay, uh, you don't have to, uh, you, you don't work, so you have to really take care of the money you have earned, yes, okay. Number six, their closest, closest friends thought they were crazy to go on this kind of journey. And number seven, they started to live their dream. Okay, it doesn't matter what the, the other people thought. Yes, it's the only thing uh, that matters what, what they thought and their dream. Okay, good. And then you have two plus infinitive. Yes, okay. So I want you to highlight the chart and it says, we intend to live, let's buy. Yes, it's difficult too. Okay, so you have two infinitive. Yes, adjective plus to infinitive. In this case, yes, you know, you have uh, intent to. Yes, it was interesting. It was difficult. So what kind of, but, uh, what kind of words are these? You know, good, good. Adjective. So after an adjective, you already know this because I have already taught you. Yes, but after an adjective to infinitive, it was difficult to understand, my students. It was difficult to understand, yes, okay, why they, have a, they didn't do their homework, for example, yes, okay? And then you have after certain verbs, like let's, let's go, let's start, okay, this is the example you have there, let's start, yes, okay, let's go, the verb, the verb goes in infinitive, okay? Is it clear? And then you have, uh, we intend, intended to live, yes, okay? To infinitive, okay? So I want you to do exercise six, okay, you know? So I will give you the answers. Remember, you have to stop the video and then listen to the answers, okay? Number one A, do the activities and then listen to the answers. One A, two C, three B, okay? Exercise seven, text one, Teenager on young uh, or young adult, probably talking time out between finishing school and starting university. Text two, middle age, probably in their 60s, about to retire. 
Yes, okay. Text three. Adult, probably in 20s or 30s to go or after the verb plan. Yes, okay. Is it clear? Yes, good. Good. So, number one. Yes, okay. To go. Yes, to go. Okay, so I want you to highlight this word, plan to infinitive. You know? Plan to go. Number two, to earn, to earn, to earn. Yes, I'm working in a supermarket, to earn, to infinitive. Number three, I like to, yes, I, sorry, I like, yes, I like, to travel so you know i like to travel i plan to go so i want you to make a list on the, on the verse that appear here that go with to infinitive is it clear i like to go okay and then we have um highlight the verse yes exercise text the other one four to retire happy to retire it could be an adjective plus to infinitive number five Number five, shoot, yes, shoot, shoot, you know, uh, you know, moral verbs, shoot plus infinitive, shoot, go, yes, could go, yes, have to go, no, they have to, no, yes, okay, should go, could go, yes, might go, might go, okay, so plus infinitive, yes, okay, is it clear? Good, good, good. Number five, uh, should relax. Number six, to sit. Yes, want to, want to. Yes, okay. Number uh, seven, difficult to buy. Number eight, can't. It's another mother verb, can't afford. Yes, number nine, number nine, number nine, number nine, number nine. Yes, to buy, yes. To buy, I am saving money to buy a new house. Okay, number 10. Yes, it's hard not to feel. It's difficult not to be. Yes, okay, at your birthday. Yes, okay. So make a list. Yes, okay, on the things you have with to infinitive. Yes, okay, infinitive. Yes, okay, is it clear? Right. Yes, okay. All right, good. So let's go to exercise nine. Nine. Yes, are you there? All right, one C. Remember to do the activities. Two F, three B, four E, five A, and six D. Yes, and then you have a speaking part. Which countries and continents do you plan to visit if you would like to go? We have already talked about this. Yes, uh, you plan to take six months off. From your job or your studies and have a trip yes of a lifetime this is the the dream your dream okay which country would you like to visit why do you want to visit these places why you are interested in those places what type of transport could you um do you intend to use okay what do you hope to do the activities you will do in these different places and what do you think would be easy to do on a trip what do you think will be difficult? The things you would be, uh, the things, the food, for example, do you think the food would be difficult? Yes, in the different places you go to try this different food. Or are you open-minded to try everything? Yes, okay, the culture, yes, okay? Good, so this is for the talking part. So I want you to go to pages 72 and 73. Yes, but first of all, I would show you a uh, some pictures, yes, okay. I want you to look at the picture. And then we are going to move to the activities in the book. So, uh, what can you see there? Well, you can see a lot of people there. Uh, and what happened, what is happening in this picture? Okay, can you see? All right. Good. So you know, you know this festival, yes? 
Do you know uh, about a lot of festivals around the world? Yes or no? Okay, this is the Tomatina Festival. This is in Buñol, yes, Valencia, yes, in Spain. And you know, uh, what they do there is they, they have to throw, yes, tomatoes to each other all the time. Yes, you know? Do you agree with this festival? Yes, okay, do you agree on throwing different, uh, this, uh, vegetable, yes, okay, because it's, you know, tons of tomatoes, yes, okay, so, uh, it is made, yes, in, I think it is in August, yes, if I am not wrong, yes, but it's in uh, Valencia, yes, in Buñol, yes, and the activity you have to do there is to throw tomatoes to each, to each one, yes, okay, then we have another uh, festival, Yes, wait a minute. You know, you know this. This is very famous. Yes, it's in Rio, Brazil. Yes, and you have the carnavales, all right? Yes, okay. Uh, they, they are uh, amazing, yes, because they dance a lot, yes. Uh, the parade, you know, the different parades are, you know, well, very well organized, yes. You can see colorful, colorful um, you know, carrozas, yes, okay. Um, you know, people singing and dancing all the night for many nights, yes, okay. So... Uh, let's go to another there, yes, and the costumes there are very nice, yes, okay, and, well, the, the, the celebration is very nice. Have you ever been there? Yes, because you know many people travel from Formosa to Brazil in summer, yes, okay, look, wow, these are amazing, yes, okay, and you can see many people many people there, no people, many people there, yes, on both sides, yes, and it's amazing, and it's very colorful too, and then we have the Coachella Festival, yes, you know where it is, it is a very, very, um, mus very popular music festival, yes, and it's in California, the United States, in the United States, yes, and many bands go there, Yes, you know, look at the stage. Yes, you can sing, uh, you can listen to many bands from all around the world. Yes, you know, look, this is a very nice picture of California, the, su the California sunset there. Yes, so uh, on 6P, uh, you are going to read about festivals, yes, about parties around the world. Yes, okay, so let's go there. Yes. Yes. Let's go there and I want you to do from page seven, 72, read the text, yes, New Orleans, there is a party in New Orleans, a festival there in Venice, Italy, you know, in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, yes, okay, the parades, yes, okay, and then you have in Port of Spain, Trinidad, all right, yes, good. Have you ever eaten a uh, feixoada, yes? Oh, I don't know how to pronounce properly, sorry if, if you know how to pronounce it yet, but it's a famous stew, you know, a tofado, yes, uh, with famous meat and beans. Have you ever uh, eaten when you went to Rio de Janeiro, when you went to Brazil? Yes, okay, good. So I want you to do exercises one, two, and three, and from page 73, exercises four, five, we are going to do the listening, and then we are going to revise the forms of future, yes, okay, things you will go, things you are going to go, and things, uh, present, sim present continuous with future idea, so I want you to study the uses, okay, because this is important at this stage, okay, nine, so from page 73, four, five, six, seven, nine, and eleven, and exercise 12, I want you to highlight it and put talking, yes, because this, we are going to use, use it for the talking part, Okay, good, do it, yes, okay, start.
why I'm looking for some checking some information yes okay you start doing yes you know the donatina was right I was right yes it was in August yes I was checking information yes okay so uh, let's go there are you there in exercise six uh, page uh, six um, unit six B Yes, remember to pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers. Okay, number one. Uh, events that are commonly celebrated with party Christmas. Yes, these are example Independence Day. Yes, the 25th of May. Carnivals or um, birthday. Yes, um, weddings, wedding anniversaries. Okay, graduation, when you graduate from school. Yes, or when you graduate... Uh, uh, from university, okay? Number two, because it is talking about the day that, uh, that is celebrated in lots of places around, around the world, yes? The world party. And number three, one, Rio de Janeiro, two, Venice, three, New Orleans. For this, uh, the one in New Orleans, yes? Where you can listen to bands, yes, okay? And everything just bands um, appears in the um, I don't know if you have seen this film um, oh my god I will, uh, it is made in New Orleans yes well I will remember then then I will remember okay don't worry number four Port of Spain number five uh, New Orleans she's a princess Brianna uh, yes Apple. Yes, okay, and she wants to have a good restaurant, and this, uh, uh, in, in, I think in one part of the, um, the, the film, yes, it shows a kind of celebration made there, yes, and all the bands with the jazz thing, yes, okay, it's, it would be very nice to go there, and the decorations, yes, okay. New Orleans, jazz, Rio de Janeiro, samba, you know, have you ever danced samba? Yes, I have listened to jazz, yes, but haven't done samba, dance. I, I think it could be very difficult to do the right thing, not to dance. Yes, dance. Okay, but really dance samba, okay? You know, uh, six bennies, okay? Good, so let's go to page 73, exercise four. Okay, good. Are you there? You have to uh, find these words in the uh, in the article. All right, good. One must two, yes. Float. This these are uh, yes. Okay, they are very nice. Yes. Okay. Uh, I was going to say where it is. They are costumes. Costumes. Yes. Trajes. Candles. Fireworks. Yes. From a gondola, yes, yes, so they decorate everything, all right. Have you ever, uh, would you like to go on a gondola, yes, through the ca the Venice uh, Canales de Venezia, would you like to go there, yes, I good, yes, well, it could be very romantic, but what about the smell there, okay, well, um, I was looking for some word that was there. Well, you know, it was a kind of decoration there. Well, uh, number three, candles. Four, jazz bands. Number five, fireworks. Uh, number six, steel uh, drum. Yes. And number seven, costume. Oh my God, that, was, that is a very elegant costume. Yes. Number six, New Orleans, Mardi Gras. Yes, okay. Good. An exercise, this is, a, this is for you to talk, yes, about a festival that we have here. Yes, there are many festivals, we have already talked about festivals before, but you have to say when, yes, is it, yes, why uh, did it begin, did it begin, sorry, and is, if it is there a special food that you eat there, 
Yes, do people wear a special costume, a costume about gauchos, for example, if they walk around the streets with their horses? Yes, okay. I remember um, Benicio described a festival with gauchos, with horses, yes, okay, with music, or with the food they ate there, okay. If you throw fireworks, uh, if the music is important, and what kind of music, yes. It, it is, uh, there was a famous musician, you name, but I don't remember his name. Yes, but it was a folklore musician, I think. Yes, okay, there are many festivals we have, yes, okay. So think about one, and now we're going to listen to um, a report about one of the celebrations in the article, which celebration is it, all right? Is it clear? Good. Track 48, Unit 6B. It's about 6 o'clock in the morning here in New Orleans, and the streets are very quiet. But in about six hours, the city is going to have the biggest party in the world, with thousands of visitors from all over. However, Mardi Gras is really about the local communities in the city. So, I've come to the traditional Treme neighborhood of New Orleans, where there are already some people preparing for the big day. So, I'll try to speak to some of them. Hello. Uh, hello. 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 What's your name? Lorette. Hi, Lorette. You're wearing a fantastic costume. Are you going to be in the parade this afternoon? That's right. Everyone is meeting at the float at 6.15, and then we're going to ride through the city. As I say, your dress looks amazing. Did you make it? Yes, we all make our own costumes for Mardi Gras. And do you have a mask? Sure. Here it is. I'll put it on. Wow, that's perfect. So tell me, how important is Mardi Gras for the people in Treme? Oh, it's the most important part of the year. It brings people together. Well, good luck this afternoon. You're going to have a great time, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, so this is the Mardi Gras. Yes, okay, New Orleans. Yes, exercise seven. Okay, yes, yes. Number two, no, everyone is meeting at the flow. Yes, okay. Number three, no, and you, uh, do you have a mask? Yes, and she has a mask. Yeah, she uh, put it on. Okay. Number four, uh, don't know. Yes, okay. Good. Eight. So let's go there. I want you to highlight the keywords there. Yes, okay. Highlight it. Are you going to? Everyone is meeting. Okay, I'm meeting my husband at a restaurant when I finish this class. So this is, I'm using present continuous with future idea. Yes, okay. Is it clear? Are you having lunch with your mother? This afternoon yes okay then you have are you going to yes you will blah 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 yes plus infinitive you already know how to form these tenses yes okay so let's go to exercise 9 9 and 11 okay do the activities pause the video and then listen to the answers I will go to the answers okay I check and I want you to pay attention and to write yes they use or they uses next to the sentence is it clear because well in the test we are going to focus on the uses all right good number one i check that is the decision you you i have water yes that is the decision a decision you take at the moment of speaking you are going to a general plan or a future decision yes I try a decision at the time of the moment, at the time of speaking, sorry. For example, if you are, I was thinking about the, uh, the example I, I was going to give you. For example, if you are uh, at the restaurant, you say, I take, I take water, yes, I drink water, yes, I take the second menu, all right? Because this is a decision you are taking at the moment of speaking. Okay, number four, I'm going to visit a general plan or a future idea, intention. Number five, are we meeting? An arrangement. I'm 
meeting my best friend at three o'clock. So I have already arranged it. It's an arrangement or a fixed, yes, okay, for a fixed time, okay? I'm starting my classes with you at nine, at seven, sorry, 7 p.m. Are we uh, going to give general plan of future intention? Number seven, are you living? That is an arrangement for a fixed time, okay? 11, okay, number one, I'm going to live. Number two, are meeting. Number three, I'll take. Number four, I'm going to do. Number five, is starting. And number six, I'll buy. Yes, we'll buy, sorry, okay? So, this is done for everything. Uh, it's done for now, yes, okay? Imagine your town is going to be 500 years old. Have a town meeting to plan and prepare the celebration, okay? So, what would you like to do and uh, who would be in charge of the organization in the, of each thing? For example, what type of, I want you to think about this because this is for talking only, but what type of celebration it could be, yes? The type of food, there could be barbecue, Paraguayan soup, empanadas, traditional food from Argentina. Yes, uh, Paraguayan soup is not traditional from here. But as uh, we are in the limit, yes, okay, near, very near from Paraguay, we always uh, serve, yes, um, with all the barbecue, the empanadas, yes, and everything. Yes, uh, you have Paraguayan, sopa Paraguaya, yes, and it's very delicious. What about the type of music? It could be a, a modern music, there would be rock, jazz, folklore, okay? Type of place, date and time, anything else. It could be only uh, for people from your age, yes? Young adult, elderly, yes? Teenagers only, uh, people from the, in their mid, uh, in their forties, yes, okay? So. I want you to think about this, uh, yes, and I want you to think, think about uh, music and everything, yes, this is just for talking. Uh, that was all for today, yes, you have all the homework and everything, I hope you have liked the class, yes, okay, and um, well, so do the homework, yes, do everything, yes, okay, you don't have anything in the classroom. Just only the pages from the activity book and see you next class. Bye bye for a year.